Okay, we are in Photoshop and we are going to have a tutorial on uh, making uh, this Ferrari in Photoshop. Uh, we will mainly be using a lot of gradients. All right, set gradients, uh, not too many layer styles, um, some hand drawn um, highlights that will use some overlay methods, some uh, layer overlay options. Um, what I mean by those are, uh, this is a piece that I made. These are these are how things interact, how the overlays work, right? So we'll deal with those. Um, tires, I haven't quite figured out exactly how I'm going to deal with those. And then the tricky stuff, but it's kind of fun. We'll be learning about how to make these halftone patterns. Um, and those are going to come at the end of the video. I'm going to make uh, this scoop here first. And this scoop will not, I will not put the halftone patterns on. I'll save that for the end. Halftone patterns are a little trickly and they're kind of uh, a unique special thing uh, that'll get its own kind of video to go along. But in the meantime, we'll just kind of ignore those. Uh, and we're just going to break this down into parts and, um, and go from there. The quality of this image is decent, but not great, right? We can see some of the pixels and stuff, and we're going to actually make kind of a nice clean uh, painting of this Ferrari. I don't know much about cars and car parts and things, so if you're a car person, don't get upset if I don't know what this stuff is. Or like I call this a scoop, some sort of air scoop. How, what it's really doing, I honestly don't actually know. Um, and uh, so here we go. And I need to make a selection first, and I need a layer. I've already kind of made one. I'm going to make another one. I'm going to put a layer on top here. Uh, we're going to pretend these don't exist for now. And we'll just click here as we go. And while I'm doing this, I'll talk to you about some things here. Uh, I will be making this video, uh, a series of videos. And I think that when once we have the first couple videos, or maybe just this video set, and we know what we're doing for the process, then from there I will just um, you might be wondering why I didn't cut them all the way to here because this is kind of its own actual round gradient shape uh, it's kind of those little flare on the fender um, and I'm gonna make that separate I'm not bringing this piece in that's gonna be a separate piece too I'm just really really thinking about this side panel that turns into this scoop um, but yeah, so some of the videos will probably be done at double or triple speed as I when I just am like playing and doing stuff once we actually know the methodology. All right, so then we're just going to go to our gradient tool, right? And um, I'm just going to this is our red and white because that's what's selected, and then I'm going to click on this gradient, and then I need to build my own brand new gradient. All right, so I'm going to come down here, and actually I'll start up here. All right, and then click in here somewhere and grab this color. Click over here and grab kind of down here at this point, and then down here and pick down like there. And then I guess um, this very last one, right, kind of right at right at the edge. Okay, and this looks like it should be compressed more down here. This is a little bit wider and that's pretty much tight at the top and then give this a gradient pretty much a drag like that okay then I kinda turn it on and off and just see what's happening and do I like how it's working to me it looks like it should be a little bit angled just very subtle too much Yeah, not bad. I'm not. This black area is going to be done differently, so I think that's acceptable. All right. So now let's do the black gradient. Um, we have this actual hole. I believe it's a like the the hole that's going in. There, and that's deep and dark. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna. That's gonna be its own separate piece. I'm just looking at the way this black area kind of comes out into here. Not the speckled 
dotted pattern. That'll come later. Just the overall sh sh uh, you know, radial of this dark, okay? So that I'm going to do, I'm going to set this to black and white, come here, and I have this option of black to transparent. All right, so if I do a black to transparent, it overlays on top. Um, let's just turn off the, uh, let's just put this white on here so you can see what's happening. I'm going to start the gradient in here because that's where the center of this circle is, okay? And then I'm just going to kind of go something, oops, <laughs> I want a radial gradient. Something like this maybe, that's too small. Uh, that's not bad. I think that's okay. I think I can live with that. Uh, and then I'm going to actually set this to multiply and then turn down the opacity a little bit. I want it to just kind of fade in there. And if I want to, I can take my brush tool uh, and kind of look here. I get a little bit more dark here than that's actually there. So I'm going to just kind of that the, radi the, the radial gradient can't really get on its own. So I'm just kind of just bring a little bit just kind of paint it in something like that All right. so that's that alright now deselect and we're gonna make this circle shape here make a little it's an oval something like that it comes past here it gets cut off um, this is just going to be an alt delete and then command if you command click it will load that selection right so let's just put this here see what I'm doing so if I command click on a layer right it selects whatever's on that layer but I want to work on this black dot layer and I want the inverse I want to erase that command shift I eraser and just got no flow got no flow there Okay, so that's that. So I'm stacking these on top of each other. I'm going to probably give this a little bit of a blur filter. Gaussian blur. Oops. Wrong there. Filter. Gaussian blur. Just look at that edge. Yeah, something like that. That's looking good. Um, so I need uh, this highlight pretty much just like almost like a solid pink color it's got a little bit of those dots on it that'll come later okay I'm really just looking at this shape right here I'm gonna make a little another little later layer we want layers um, this could actually be kind of an oval right kind of an oval and then select transform selection transform the selection I can turn it and I can squish it. I can hold my command key down, stretch one end out so I don't like that. Squish this side in like that. All right. Maybe something like that. That's that's good enough. And I'm just going to select this color, right? Alt delete. There it is. Okay, um, and that's that's that. I'll probably give that just a little bit of a blur as well. Filter Gaussian blur, soften the edge, and then what I need is this red shape here, which is basically kind of another faded out um, uh, rate radial gradient. Um, use my use this nice get a nice strong red here okay and I'm just going to take that select and transform my selection again so that I can turn this oval and then what I want is my gradient and red to transparency need a new layer and it's a radial gradient not way too small right so I need it out here or something like that that seems too strong let's see let's see if we can edit this yeah 
I need. getting there mm, all right let's just go with that for now and uh, this is gonna be I think I like to set this at a hard light and it's interacting more and once again command click on this right because I want to get rid of that command shift I to inverse then hit delete all right so that's there but it's still a little bit too hard so if I turn all this stuff off this, this, um, this goes on top here like that and then this um, I can just either use the eraser or if I really want to have non-destructive properties I can use uh, I could put a layer mask on there I'm just going to use the eraser and I'm gonna, with the soft brush flow way down and just kind of soften this out right this is way it's way too much stuff here Mm -hmm. It's too hard an edge. Right. Something like that. Uh, this is our black, and I feel like we need some more black. When I look at, uh, if I turn these off, um, I just I have a lot more black here. All right. So I'm going to, um, I'm just going to bring a little more black down in here, but I want to keep it. Um, I'm going to command click on that. Go to the, make sure I'm on the right layer. That's the wrong layer. This layer. Yeah. And I'm just going to kind of, oops and paint with some black here. Something like that. All right, that's pretty good for a scoop for now. And I'm gonna take all these layers. We, If you don't know how to do this, I'm gonna turn these into a group. So these are the ones I have selected. And I'm going to say new group from layers, call this scoop. And now I can turn it on and off real quick and just kind of look at what I've got going and see what I like and what I don't like. I've already been building it before. Um, I don't know if I like one better than the other. It doesn't really matter at this point in time. Um, but the thing is, if I open this folder, there are all my layers and I can make all the adjustments I want. So I can, I can we'll be able to and I'll be able to add add to this alright so now we need this shape here this whole big um, uh, what is this part of the it's kind of like the side that scoops into like the back fender area so this I'm just going to um, basically come here and make a selection now I'm not using the magic wand tool on the actual photograph to make my selections because I want to have complete control over what I do, all right, and what I pick and what I don't pick. Whereas the magic wand tool, um, you know, it just picks by color, and you're not going to get exactly what you want. Or, I mean, you might you might get lucky and get everything you want. Um, I'm doing this really fast. I've actually kind of already done a cleaner version of this, but for what we're doing here, um, it gets a little bit hard to read what's happening in this image but I believe this is kind of coming up here like this the back end is going to kind of get repainted another way the gradient is going to be good for the back end of this fender you'd want to make smaller clicks so that you could make sure that you get a um, it's this fender is going to be behind, I'm going to use it um, this layer is going to be actually behind the scoop so I can come right through the scoop here like this alright um, and then uh, 
make a layer and then I need a gradient now I've already been playing with the gradient tool and I think I have a pretty successful gradient here picked but just so we know I went here and I clicked here and I clicked here and I clicked here right here I will actually just let's let's do it again all right so here's my here's my gradient editor just so you see I'm gonna come down here and pick like a color that's over here then click again pick like a color that's here pick like a color in here pick one in there oh, that one doesn't oh, there we go pick one in here and then this final one really it's just kind of like really in, really intense and it's red all the way to the top so something like that and then this is not a radial this is a linear and we're just shooting it through something like that and just kind of turn it on and off I turn it on and off to see like where where it's going and and it seems like it's too strong here so what I'm gonna do is edit this gradient and bring this down bring this down right. and now push it through yeah That's looking pretty good. So basically, I'm not too concerned up here. I'm looking in this area to see when I turn on and off and see if it feels natural. This needs to come down a little bit more. So let's edit that gradient and let's just bring this like this and this like this. That's pretty good. This is the one I had made before. I think that looks pretty good. We'll put this. And there's my scoop. Yeah, that kind of is flowing pretty nicely. pretty good could use a little bit more so I'm just gonna hand paint a little bit more you can't always get all the gradients the way you want them so just kind of hand paint that in a little bit because this should flow this sh this should be a soft flow right from one to the other see how that kind of is just flowing right into each other so these should flow into each other and it's it's pretty close um, so then yeah like just kind of zooming out turn this off and say is this starting to look like a car <laughs> it's going to be pretty early on. Uh, I'm going to go in and do some, um, I'm going to go paint some highlights in here on top of here. And uh, yeah, like I said, I'm going to just do a couple other gradients across this and get some basics laid out uh, with no audio. And then we'll go from there. Okay. Let's see. Let's stop.